Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing through another episode of Final Girl. I just got back from PAX Unplugged, and they got a restock in of some of the episodes I did not have, so I wanted to jump back in and do another video on this, as I've put out two so far, and my win-loss ratio is 50-50. I won one and lost one, so this will be my tiebreaker, and we'll see how this one pans out. So with this one, I'm going to be playing on Camp Happy Trails against Hans, and he is kind of like your introductory big bad so we'll see how this goes he's got a ton of hit points and if his gauge gets too high he can dish out tons of punishment so hopefully things will go in my favor i did a trial last night just to make sure i had all the rules back in and dialed in and got absolutely destroyed so hopefully that's a good sign maybe on the on this video things will turn around the dice absolutely hated me last night so We'll see how, they, uh, how they're feeling today. So as always, if you find my videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow, be able to produce this content. If you want to get notified anytime I drop new videos, also give that notification bell a ring, and that'll let you know whenever new ones come out. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see anything else around this. Obviously, with Season 2 right around the corner, I'll be doing more content on that, possibly even a full teaching video for that one. And But let me know if you like to see more of these, if there are particular mix or matchups you want to see, whether you want me to play you know, in different areas with different enemies and not just stick with the episodes. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below, and we'll see what happens with this one. So let's go ahead and head to the table. And we'll see if I can defeat Hans. All right, so the last couple things I have to handle before jumping in. First off, I have to get the tokens for the last hit point for each of my characters. So let's give these a good mix here. And we will pick one. So let's go with uh, that one for Hans. And I'm playing Lori, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one here. And hopefully that will be good. All right, the rest of these will be returned to the box, and we'll see what happens with that. All right, so then the other thing I have to handle is an event. So let's go ahead and resolve that real quick before getting into the game. So we have Vengeance. Uh, the victim furthest from the killer is now the damned. Whenever the killer must choose a target, the damned is chosen instead. The damned can only be saved if it is the last victim alive. If the damned dies, or the damned dies, it's going to bump him up two. Ugh, all right. So let's go ahead and drop that in there. And he is the furthest away. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I think that is going to be the furthest away. So he's going to replace one of these guys. All right, so he's going to be focusing on him. All right, so he's going to be... So that actually might work in my favor where it's going to take him a few turns to get up there. So some of my other victims might uh, make it out of this alive here. All right, so moving into my turn, let's see what we got here. I might want to start with a focus to try to start dropping his ability so that I can work towards potentially being able to throw three dice. So let's go ahead and start with that. Let's go with the middle two, and let's bring a dice tray in here. That's correct. All right, so starting off really well so far. So let's do... Let's do the short rest and weak attack to convert that to a success. And that's going to drop my timer by one, but does drop that by one. All right, those will go in the discard. And then let's go ahead and try to do a walk. Let's see what happens with that. Hey, all right, so a pair, double. All right, so we get to move up to two spaces. So I'm going to go one, two to the docks. And that'll be discarded, and that drops by one. Um, let's try it again. See if we get uh, lucky again here. I got one. That's good. That's uh Let's me move one space. I'm going to go ahead and rescue those two victims. And I think I'm going to take 
Hmm. Well, now that that guy's the primary target, I think I'm going to take one there to drop that down one. And I'm going to take plus two time so that I have a little bit more buying power. Okay. And I have one more focus that I could potentially do. But I think I'm going to hold on to it for now. So I'm going to go ahead and end there. And that will finish off my action phase. So then I'm into my planning phase. So this one lets me spend to buy stuff. So let's see. Um, cabins are where the archery is. Utility shed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a sprint. So that's going to cost two. And let's do... Let's do a close call. And I only got enough for one more. So I guess I'll buy a search. That way then I have that. All right, so that finishes off my planning phase. Then I can place these back out, which are just all of the level ones or level zeros at this point. So I'll just put them up there. And then it moves into the killer phase. So first off, the killer is going to resolve his ability, which there's nobody in his space right now to carry that out. So then next is a terror card. So let's see what we got here. Taking souvenirs. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, you're going to... Our target is victims. You're going to move twice, so he can move two spaces, and then he attacks twice. Each victim killed during the killer phase adds plus one to his overall result. Again, he is targeting this guy here, so that definitely works out in my favor. Otherwise, he would have gone there and killed both of them, and that would have been a big jump. So he's going to go and work his way over there. All right, uh, as he only moves two spaces. All right, so then we'll discard that, and then it is into the panic phase. Nobody was killed, and there's no victims in his space to panic. So then the upkeep phase... I don't have any other effects to handle, and I don't have anything to rearrange just yet. So we're moving back into the next round with my action phase. So let's go ahead and start off. I'm going to try to do a focus and see what happens here. I got two of those. Uh, I'm going to do a close call and... Do I reroll both? No, I'm just going to reroll one and see if I get lucky here. Nope. All right. So it's either discarding. I think I'm just going to lose two time, unfortunately. All right. And then let's do a sprint. Hopefully I'll get better luck with this one. No, I do not. And... Did horribly again. Um, I guess I'm going to have to do that results because uh, I'm going to lose health either way. So I'm going to lose two time, one health. Now let's me move one space. So I guess I'll go to the dock. And that is going to end my turn as I that was that last action I could do. All right, so now it's in my purchasing phase. I have two buying power this time. I will get back all my level zero cards. And I'll go ahead and buy another sprint. And these will go out. So I have a close call, focus, and sprint. Okay, back up to six. And then it's back over to Hans to go. So again, he's not going to do anything there. So terror card. He's going to elevate that by one. Each victim that is dead, Hans recovers a hit point. And there are no dead victims right now, so nothing there. Okay. Moving on, we have the panic phase. Again, nothing to handle, and the upkeep phase. So we're back into the action phase, and things are not going super well so far here. All right. Um, I have a focus, so let's go ahead and work on that. I got one, so I'll take it. So he's back down to two. 
right, and try a sprint again. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a sprint and see if we get anything here. It's cracked. It's still nothing. I just cannot do that. All right, so we'll spend the two to convert one to a success. That gives me a movement of two. So we'll go one, two there. All right, and don't have anything to search yet, so let's try a walk. Did I have to, for a sprint, I do have to de decrease that by one. That's, I've done two things, right? I did a focus, yep. And then I did the sprints, which drops it by one. Okay, yeah, I just wanna make sure I got that right. Almost missed that. All right, so over to walking. It's no luck. Um, I don't know if I really want to lose another hit point. So I'll just lose the two. Try it again with another walk. There we go. We got one at least. Drops it by one. Let's me move one space. And that is going to be think my turn as I don't have much else to do at this point. All right, and I'll hold on to the search for now. All right, and then it's over to purchasing. I don't have anything there. I get one card for that, and I guess I'll buy this for that. All right, that bumps that back up. I'll put these back out. So we got sprints, walk and walk. All right, so next turn I'll get some cards back. Over to the killer. Terror card, he's just standing there, so bumps it up two. And then he's going to move towards that by moving two spaces. So he's gonna move into there. So next turn, he's gonna be killing him. All right. All right, that's that. And nothing else for any other phases. So back into my turn and he has Gotten that back up, so we'll keep trying here. All right, I got one, so it does drop him one and drop that down one, so that's good. All right, I don't have a search action to do. I have nothing else to do at this point. So I think I'm gonna call it there. Unfortunately, because um, yeah, there's not much else I can do. So I have five buying power. I'll buy a sprint and a distract. So that's five, and then I will get my cards back. And then this one goes up there. So that refreshes that, and that will end my turn over to the killer's turn. He's going to take care of that guy, and that gets him one there. And then his card. He's, he just came out of nowhere. Place Hans with the furthest target possible. I think that's still going to be him. It's going to increase the threat by one and draw the next terror card. Okay. That girl, what's her name? She can, can she, she can help us uh, place two new victims in the space where you started the game. All right. Where I started was over there. Actually, I screwed that setup up. I switched her and the killer. They should have been reversed. So I placed them where I had started her. I messed, I totally messed that up. So, and then we have another event card. Oh, we have to raise that again. So that goes up again. Whew. I just cannot get that gauge down. And a new event. We have fresh meat. Place two new victims at the cabins, two new victims at the dock, and two new victims in the fireplace or fire pit. That is a lot of victims. Holy smokes. This is not good. I was hoping to clear some of these guys out. So six new victims coming out. All right, so we got two new ones in the fire pit. 
We have two new ones at the dock. And two at the cabins. Those campers don't know what is good for them. All right. Back into my turn. Um, let's go ahead and try. Let's try a distract. And I got a pair. All right, finally, something good. All right, so let me drop it by two, and I get two time out of that. So that was very successful. All right, and I could rescue that one, but let's go ahead and do, let's do a sprint. Let's see if we get lucky here. All right, I got one out of it. So I'll take that. Drops it by one. Let's me move up to two spaces. So I'm going to go one and two into there with all of them. All right, and let's try to do a search. See if I can get something here. All right, so got a three so I could spend the weak attack and rest to bump that to a success which lets me take the Titan card on my space so I will take the archery bow and that gives me three pegs to be able to use okay that's that one try to do a walk all right let's me go one space so I'm gonna go here I'll take two with me let's try it one more time oh, well I knew my luck was gonna run out eventually I'll go ahead and reroll both by spinning two come on all right, so I got one out of it at least, so that's good. So let's me go another space. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here and rescue those two. And I think I will recover a health. And do I want to move a space? I think so. I'm going to go ahead and move a space. So I'll put me there. That will take care of that. I think I'm going to hold on to this focus for the moment. Down to four. Gonna bump him up too. And then he's gonna kill the other one in there as well. So it's going up three, so he's gonna be here, so it's two more. Ugh, it stinks. I will. I think I'm gonna end there and move into my purchasing phase. So I got four, so I'm gonna get this one. And I think I'll do a distract and close call. And then we'll put these back out. So distract, sprints, search, Walk, close call, and walk. All right. All right, so first off, he is going to kill his target. So vengeance has been eliminated. And that bumps him up two, which is going to raise by one for that. And then he has his terror card. 
What's that noise? Let's go and see. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, all victims move one space towards the closest enemy. Okay. One, two, three. So it's definitely going to be this way. So they're going to go down there. They're going to slide over. Okay. Then his target, he's going to attack. So that one's gone. Bumps this up again. And then he moves. He's still only moving one space. So he's going to move into a space with them. All right. That takes care of that. Now we're into the panic phase. He did kill somebody. So these two are going to panic and run. All right. So we have a six and a three. So we have six going down one, and one through three is going to go up one. Okay, so they got out of his space at least. That's a plus. All right, and that is all of that. And then the upkeep, I don't have anything to handle with my thing just yet, so I think that it will do. All right, over to me to go with my turn. Oof. I don't have a whole heck of a lot to do, so let's go ahead and start with a distract. We'll see what happens here. Not a lot. So I'm going to spend two. All right, I got one at least, so I'm going to get to drop it one and I gain one back. Okay. I have two focuses. Let's try one. I got one out of it. So it drops it one, that goes down one. And All right, he's not moving just yet. The dark power's coming the next time he kills somebody. But that's not gonna happen just yet, at least. I don't have a way to move just yet, so. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop there, but I am going to shoot him with two arrows. Each one of these is going to cost two. So I don't have any time left, and it's gonna do one damage to him, so two of those go away. Well, let's take them to the top, working our way down. So, we'll see if that makes a difference there. All right. So we've gotten first blood onto my purchasing phase. I don't have anything to purchase. So then it's go ahead and get these back at least. And I'll put those back out. So we got that, distract and focus. All right, onto his phase. So he has nobody to attack right now. So then terror card. Maybe things are starting to go your way. Draw the top card of any item deck. Hmm. Well, those two are out there. I mean, the pepper spray w is pretty nice, but I am pretty close to Utility Shed, too. Hmm. I'm going to take a shot and take this one here because the cabins are quite a ways away. So I have fireworks. Uh, spend two to place a fireworks token in your space or an adjacent space, not the lake. Discard this card. Whenever the killer must choose a target, they will choose a fireworks instead. Discard the fireworks token when the killer enters a space where it is located. All right, so I'll place that in my backpack for the moment. And I get the fireworks token. There it is. Okay. All right, I'll take that. That's uh, at least he didn't go up again and unveil his dark power just yet. So at this point, um, what to do? Well, let's try to do a walk action. We'll see what happens with that. I got a six and a three. So let me move one space. Let 
Uh, I'm going to go here. And I'll rescue that one. It does cost one. And I'll go ahead and do this one, and I'll take a sprint card. Okay, takes care of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play the sprint card here. And hopefully I'll get lucky. I do have one to convert if I'm able to. And I got two successes out of that. All right, fantastic. So that lets me move up to three spaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here, and then back to rescue these two. So that's going to fill off that last one. So that's going to give me two. And now I have completed that. So let's me flip this over. And then whenever you in the same or whenever you are in the same space as an enemy and inflict damage, do an additional damage. And then for each additional victim saved, I get an extra time. So all right, so that is that. And I have one more space to move. So I'll go ahead and move there. All right, that was very successful. All right, and he's doing three now, so I gotta be careful. I don't wanna, well, maybe I'll just stay there and not risk it just yet. Short rest, because I don't, well, I'm gonna get to go to my purchasing phase before that, so. So that's a plus, so let's go ahead and go there. Could do a short walk. Or a focus. But you know what? I think I'm gonna spend two to place the fireworks here. I'll force them to go up there at least. And that'll give me a turn and also get me away from that. So this card, this card. Whenever the killer must choose a target, they will choose the fireworks instead. This card. Okay. So I am going to try to do a walk then. And I got a six, so it's going to drop it by one. And let's move one space so I get to I will move into the killer space. I could try a weak attack. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Weak attack. Oh man, nothing. So it's gonna have me lose a health and it'll end my turn. Well, overall pretty successful. I'm, I can't really complain about that turn. So I think that will finish me off there. I'm into the planning phase. So I do have five purchasing. I will get the focus back. He's going to head up there, and he's still moving pretty slow. So I'll go ahead and discard that. And then I will do, I have two focuses and a short rest. So I think I need a search card, so that's two. That'd be great to be able to do that, but I do want to keep moving as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take a sprint, and then I will take a close call. All right, so that bumps that back. That will finish off my turn. Um, that is actually not good. Um, actually, I'm going to take a guard instead because he is going to attack me for this first one. So let's go ahead and play the guard and see what happens here. He does three damage. That's cracked and nothing. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and spend two to reroll both of these. And I got one success out of it at least. So it reduces that by two, so I take one. And these go away, will not be coming back this turn. I gotta place these back out. So walk, sprints, weak attack. All right, so those are up there. All right, so that uh, was not so good. And terror card. 
All right, he wants fresh blood. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, he's going to move two towards it. So one, two, so he takes the fireworks out. Okay. So it did what it was supposed to do. Bought me a turn. All right, so it's over to me. I'm going to go ahead and try to sprint as there's nothing else to do at the moment. Or wait. Well, I'll go ahead and take one more shot at him with the bow. So that'll finish off the bow's ability. So I'll discard that, and one more goes away. All right, now I'm going to try to sprint. And I got two successes, so I can move up to three spaces. So that's good news. All right, so one, two... And that will rescue those three. So that gives me three back. One, two, three. So I'm back up to five. And then I'll go here for that one. And that does drop me by one for that. Okay. All right, and the docks are first aid, short rest, focus. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a focus. And I got one success out of that. I could convert for my other one. That would give me two and a thing. But no, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try it one more time. Let's see if I can get it to drop one more time here. I got two for converting, but I don't have enough for anything else. So I lose two on that one. Might as well try a short rest and see if I can heal. And I got one success, which is going to drop that by one, but it does get me a health back. Okay. And that is my turn, as I have nothing left to do, and I have spent all of my time, so I do not get to buy anything. So I will get a couple of these back, and then these will go back out. One, guard, sprint, focus, focus, and short rest. All right, over to the killer. He can't attack anybody, but he does get a terror card. Unholy Rage. Hans does an additional damage each attack. That gives him two more health. Okay. All right, moving back in here. Things are still looking a little rough here, so I'm going to go ahead and do a walk and see if we can move a couple of you guys. Oh, man. Basically, yeah, I'll move one space. I'm going to lose a health and lose two, but then I'll basically rescue and get two back, so it uh, nullifies itself. I have another walk and a weak attack. I think at this point it might also it might just be benef more beneficial to hold off there. This is the last terror card, so his his thing's going to be popping up here. Now, let's try to walk one more time. Still nothing. So I'll lose another health. Two and one. All right, so all I got is weak attack left. That's not much to do. So I think that will end my turn. Over to purchasing, I do get these cards back. And I think I'm going to need a search card for two. And two more. I'll take a sprint. All right. That will finish that off on his turn. So he doesn't do anything with that yet. So then it's over here. You cannot save us. No one can. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next tarot card. Otherwise, all victims in your space must panic twice.
All right, so this one is going to panic. And four, so it goes over here. And then one is going to stay there. All right, then he is going to target and attack. There's nothing in his space. Then he moves to the nearest one. So that's going to be that one there. All right, so he is going to be able to drop that one, and that will get him his dark power next turn, but at least not this turn. All right, so panic phase. He did not eliminate anybody, so that one's not going to panic. And then the upkeep phase, I have nothing at this point, so... All right, um, I only have the one sprint. I do have a couple focuses. I'm right there, so I'm going to go ahead and do a, a focus and see if we can get lucky here. I got two of those, so I guess I can spend the short rest and weak attack at least. You know what? I'm going to take the weak attack and the focus instead because I kind of want to keep the short rests. So I think I need that. Got to start healing here. All right, so that's going to drop that by one, but it also drops that by one, which gives me my three dice finally. And then let's do a sprint. All right, I got one out of it, so it moves it down one. And let's me move two spaces. I think I'm just going to move to the docks. I really need to find something here. All right, so let's go with a search action. Let's do these two and this one. All right, just one. All right, so I take the top card so I get the first aid. All right, this one is every time you use an action to recover health, recover one additional. So let's do a short rest. And I got two out of it, so I get two health back. And that gives me one additional. So I'm back to full health. All right, and that'll go in the backpack. Or right, that's one-handed, so that'll have to go here for now. Okay. All right, that is everything I can do. So then it's into my purchasing phase. I do have four to purchase with. I have the two walks coming back to me. I'll take a sprint. All right, so then these will go back out. We have focus, weak attack, focus, sprint, short rest, and search. All right. All right, then it is into his turn, so he's going to activate that with that, which reveals his dark power. So we have dark obsession. When Hans attacks you uh, at least once, he attacks an additional time. Ugh. That's not good. All right, and then he has no card there. So, actually, I think this was supposed to be, uh, yeah. And then Bloodbath, so he's going to target. He wouldn't move because he's going to attack there. But So basically, he's going to attack three times anytime he attacks. So that's really bad. And he's still got a ton of health. Three, six, nine, eleven. So I've done practically nothing. Practically nothing. All right. I might have spent too much time trying to get stuff down instead of actually doing things. All right. So then it's back into my turn as there's nothing else to handle at this point. So we're over. Let's go ahead and do a search. I still get three. So that's good at least. And that really was was not good. Um, so I'll go ahead and convert that to a success by spending those two. Really could have used those, but I'm at the docks, so I get to take the top card. It's a flashlight. Once per action phase, spend one to look at the top card of the terror deck, leave it or place it at the bottom of the deck. 
completely useless. All right, uh, and then let's go ahead and try to sprint. And just one success, so I can move two spaces. This should have been back up there. So I didn't, did I spin anything? Search drops it by one. So then this will drop by one, I can move two spaces. So let's go one, two, there. And that's everything. All right, uh, over to purchasing. I do get these back, so I get two focuses, a weak attack, and a short rest. And he's going after that victim next. So that's the shortest distance, and he's going to get there because he can move up to four spaces. So I need to get up there. So I'm going to take a sprint and a search. All right. Uh, then he's going to activate. One, two, three. Go there and eliminate that. And that is it for his turn. That'll finish off the round, and we're back into my turn. So let's go ahead and try to do a sprint. All right, I got one success. That goes back up. That's pretty much all I needed, so let's go ahead and do that. Drops it by one, and then these get put back out. What do we got? It's a search and a sprint, so those will go right back where they were. I'll go top, and that'll be flipped over. And then I'll do a search. I got one success. Uh, take the top item from your space, utility shed, so I get the pepper spray. So if the killer is in your space, you may discard this immediately to end the killer phase. Ignore the remaining movement attacks and any other effects. Okay. And then... I think I will discard the two focus to regain two. I'll do the same with the short rests and the weak attack to bump me up to eight. All right, that'll end my turn. So then the killer is going to go. He is going to move one, two to me, and then he attacks. I'm going to go ahead and spend the pepper spray, and that will at least stop him from being able to attack me because otherwise I would have probably died there because he's doing three damage per hit. And he attacks three times due to his Dark Obsession. All right, so it's into... I forgot to do my purchasing phase. Let's go ahead and handle that real quick. So I do get these back. So I got two walks back. And... Hmm. Let's do Furious Strike for four. Let's do improvise. Well, he's hit me three times. All right, so. So I can either do a retaliate and hope for the two. All right. Let's try that. Let's see. Or I just try to run because he's only going to go four spaces. So if I can get out of his range. 
then I might be able to be able to avoid this. So let's do that. And we'll do two close calls. Gives me a little bit of replay there. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, focus, short rest, and weak attack. All right. All right, over to my turn. I think I need to start off with the Furious Strike. And it gives me three. And I got two successes out of that. So I do get to drop that by one. And I'm doing three damage to him thanks to her ability there. So that will take care of those two. And that will eliminate that. So at least he's not doing the bonus damage anymore. And one there. All right. So that takes care of that. And then now I need to get the heck out of here. So let's do a sprint. Let's back up. And I got two more successes. So that's fantastic news. That's going to let me move three spaces. So one, two, and three. Basically just need to kind of wrap around here. All right. And then let's do another walk because I need to get out of his range. So I need at least one more to be able to do that. All right, and I got two more successes. That's wonderful. All right, so that drops me down there. And then I can move up to two more spaces. So I'll go there and there. And hopefully get something next turn. All right, and then I will... I'm going to go ahead and discard that to get one back. So he's not going to be in my space. All right. Um, I think that will do it. So purchasing, I'm going to buy a search for two. That gives me three left. I'll get a sprint for two more. And I got nothing else to buy. I do get all these back. All right, so I think that's it. All right, so that's gonna bump me back up. Then it's his turn. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because she's still the closest. All right. So that is it. And then there's nothing else to rearrange or anything. So it is over to my turn again. So I've got two focus, short rest, all that's useless. Weak attack, I'm not within range. So let's go ahead and do a search action, see what we can find here. Hopefully something good. And let's see here. Oh man, three successes. All right, dice are heating up. That is that is great news. So I can finally take the top two cards of the cabins and look at them. So come on, something good. All right, so we got an axe and energy drink. Obviously the axe. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump that down to my backpack. I'll equip the axe. And then this goes, I think back on there. All right, yeah, face down underneath. Okay, all right, so that is, oop, I gotta place these back out. So Furious Strike is back, Sprint is back, Walk and Walk. All right, Short Rest, Weak Attack, Sprint, Close Call. All right. Um, So I could try to sprint. I do not have the other stuff yet though. He's gonna hit me three times. 
it's going to cost me eight to buy all of that. to that. It'd be great to be able to buy that Furious Strike. I need one more turn. One, two, three. I don't think there's any other way of getting away from him. One, two, three is the most I can go, which is going to put me still ahead of the victim. Dark Obsession card's getting me pretty good. All right, so I'm going to have to spend those for three more. One, two, three. Okay. And then... Yeah, there's no point in getting anything else. So let's go to the Retaliate. Well, let me see here. I could buy the two, which leaves me six. And if I spend the, if I spend one and one, that would have give me enough for a Furious Strike. It's a long shot, but things are gonna have to go really well. He's hit me three times. All right, let's try it. So I'm going to spend those two as well. Gives me two more. All right, then I will buy Retaliate. I will buy a Guard. And I will try a Furious Strike. All right. All right, so back over to our turn. All right, so we're moving into the final part of this. I do get these back, and then let's go ahead and drop this stuff down. So this will be this will be interesting. Basically, I have a shot at this, but everything has to go <laughs> pretty much perfect for me to pull this off. So we'll see what happens here. All right, into his turn. So he is going to move in. And then he's going to start his Fury of Tax. So let's go ahead and start off by doing a guard. And I get three dice. And that uh, couldn't have started off any worse. Let's do the close call. It's going to cost me two. I'm going to reroll all dice. All right, that worked out a little bit better. All right, so that gets lets me ignore all damage from that one. All right, that's number one. Number two, I'm gonna go ahead and do retaliate. All right, so let's see how this goes here. I got uh, two walks that I could spend to convert one. So let's see if uh, I get that at least. Great just to get two right off the bat, but I did. All right, so I don't have to spend the walks for that. So I'm going to be able to ignore all damage from the attack, and then I'm going to dish out two plus the additional one for Lori's ability for three on that. It brings him down to five hit points. All right, so that finishes off the retaliate, and then his final attack is going to go through and do three damage to me. So... All right, so that will end his turn. And then there is no panic phase or anything as I am not a victim, so I don't panic. So that's gonna move into my turn. So. I basically 
need to start off with the Furious Strike. And I need two stars on this to pull this off because I basically, I do not want this to end my turn as I do not have the Retaliate to fall back on this time. So yeah, it all comes down to this. I really need that to go through. Either that or I do the weak attack first and hope for just one success where it would drop me down and that would give me my extra, my extra die to give me a higher probability of doing the Furious Strike. So, yeah, let's try that first. It's a little less critical than when I just need one. All right, here we go. All right, just need one success, and I can spend one or two cards to bump that up if I need to. And I got one success. <laughs> that was what I needed. All right, so I'm going to lose a health. All part of the plan. And then I do two damage to him. One because of Lori's ability and then one for the weak attack. Oh, and then the axe. Technically, I would do four. All right, so I'm going to get five dice for this one. All right, so here we go. Furious attack. I'm going to get five dice. And I need two successes. Well, one technically. One will do it. So let's see here. I got, oh, I got plenty of successes. I got three successes. So that gives me one more there. Hopefully I'm not going to need it. If he gets, if he has something there, it's all over anyways, because he's going to kill me. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> wow. And did, did mine have anything? Mine did not either. So either way, one more, and that would have been it. Uh, he was either going to kill me or I was going to kill him. What an epic uh, duel there. Wow. Everything had to go perfectly for that to, to really play out. What an epic battle. Well, I hope you found that video interesting. It doesn't get any closer than that. If I would not have been able to pull that off, he would have definitely killed me during the next his next uh, phase, and there was nothing I was going to do about it. All I had was the one guard card left, and so I wouldn't have been able to, to live through that. So I hope you found the video interesting. Let me know again in the comments down below if you caught any mistakes that I made or anything that I did wrong. I know that I got the the setup or the uh, during the setup I reversed the two. I don't know how I did that, but I don't think it really would have made that much of a difference one way or the other. So I think with that it pretty much you know doesn't matter. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you thought and uh, if you, what you. Uh, if what your experiences were are with Hans as well, has he been as forgiving with you or have you fallen to his sledgehammer? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know again what other videos you'd like to see around this. I probably will do another one. I have the, um, the one with the little puppet guys. I don't remember the name of it. So I probably do a video on that one as well just to see. But at least now I am two wins to one loss so far with this one. So again, thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.